What is up, my lovely mystical starlights? Guess what day it is? On October 3rd, he asked me what day it was. It's October 3rd. So with that being said, today we are going to be doing a pick a pile reading on who is the mean girl or the mean boy within your life. I did do this reading last year, so I wanted to do an updated one. I'll probably just make it a tradition and do one of these pick a pile readings every single year. Regardless, it is going to be a timeless reading, so you could watch this at any given point. We do have three piles to choose from today, but before I begin, I would like to thank all of you guys who are tuned in and who are watching this video. I also want to thank all of you guys who constantly like every single one of my videos and who have already subscribed to my YouTube channel as well as those who have clicked the bell notification to be notified as to when I upload videos like so. I'm super, super, super grateful and thankful to be able to channel and to connect with you all who have been with me, as well as those of you guys who are new. If you do not know me, hello, hi, I'm Maria. Welcome to my channel. So let's go ahead and get into the pile selections. Really quick, one more thing before I do, I am currently open for personal readings at this time. So for those of you guys who are interested in that, all you have to do is send me an email. You can find my email within the description box. Once you send me an email I will send you my services prices policies and disclaimers for your review and once you pick which reading or readings you like to go with send me an email back and I will get you scheduled in without further ado let's let's go ahead and get into the pile selections for pile number one we do have the pumpkin for pile number two we have the ghost and for pile number three we have the witch's hat so go ahead and choose whichever pile or piles are drawing you in and find the corresponding timestamp to the pile or piles you've chosen down below within the comment section. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into, for those of you guys who have chosen pile number one with the pumpkin, let's see who the mean girl or the mean boy is, or the mean man, the mean woman is within your life. Gender doesn't really matter. This is just who is the mean individual or the mean individuals or people that are, you know, throwing you shadery your way and again this is a timeless reading also some of these characteristics that we go over they may resonate with you and that's just spirit confirming your energy within this pile so let's go ahead and get into it who is the mean girl or the mean boy or just in general who is the mean person within your life that you could need to be more aware of so for this pile you guys have a lot of these halloween cards that flew out this is from my valfre card deck i love these cards i don't know if they are selling these cards this halloween season again but they're really cute so if you're into um stuff like that i definitely would go and purchase if not i would just check them out because they're a really cool site this is not me promoting them I'm just like really into all their cute little stuff that they sell but anyways for those of you guys who have chosen pile number one maybe some of you guys market sell or produce or whoever is the mean person within your life they may market sell or produce they could have a business of their own for some of you guys this could be somebody that you do business with or they do business with you for some of you guys this is somebody that could buy some of your services your products or you could buy their services or their products for some of you guys this could be a group up to one to seven people or one to three people for some of you guys I am picking up here that some of you guys could have went to school with some of these individuals here um, if not for some of you guys you could be teachers or whomever is hating on you here or who is mean here they could be teachers of their own selves but I am getting something in regards to teaching here I'm also picking up here 1997 or 1979 maybe of relevance for some of you guys here I am picking up that some of you guys could be wanting to start a new educational journey or this person is if this is you I'm picking up here whomever this is is trying to make things harder for you they're trying to instill some sort of fear when it comes to you starting something brand new they're mean when it comes to you going down an educational route or they're mean when it comes to you starting something up in terms of a business or in terms of a work pursuit here I'm also picking up here that this is somebody that wants to put you into a lot of work so that you could get distracted or so that you could feel so overwhelmed to 
the point where you don't have a new beginning. So for some of you guys, this could be somebody in a place of work. This could be a teacher for some of you guys that's giving you an overload of homework. I am picking up here for some of you guys. If this is not you, this person could just be overwhelmed in terms of schooling or in terms of work, in terms of business. And I am picking up here that they could be taking this out on you. They're being mean to you because they feel like you don't have as many responsibilities and they feel like you get to just do whatever or they may feel as if you get brand new beginnings in life without having to hustle or work as hard as them. That is something that I am picking up here. I'm also picking up here that this person could have a tendency to overindulge or they could be codependent upon you or maybe this is somebody that you are codependent upon um, because of their manipulation tactics here. I am picking up here that this person could overeat, over drink, um, over sleep. This person could have a tendency to gamble, to do drugs, whatever the case may be. Or this is somebody that distracts you a lot. They distract you by partying or they distract you by wanting to get lit with you, by always consistently wanting to hang out with you. I am picking up here that this could be somebody that you were associated with around the age of 17, 71 or 70 could even be irrelevant. This could be somebody who's elder. Maybe they feel like you have so much vitality you could get so many things done and they can't um and they could be hating on you because of it because they're getting old they're slowing down i am picking up here that age is ending in a zero or one could be a relevance as well somebody may have a one or ten year age difference with or that you've known for those amount of years birth dates ending in a one zero or three or eight or four or even I'm picking up here two could be a relevance in regards to these messages let's get into some characteristics and attributes cards so some of these may resonate with you or whoever is the mean person within your life so we do have wavy hair we also have big round eyes we have gray colored eyes the name gray could be of relevance we also have Tudor coming out this could be somebody that feels like they taught you everything and that you went with it and you started something new on your own without giving them credit. Or I'm picking up here, this could be somebody that you've instilled some sort of knowledge in and instead of giving you the credit of you being their teacher or their guardian or their helper here, they just totally disregarded you and acted like they did everything on their own end is what I am picking up. I am picking up here, this person could be a tutor, you may be a tutor here. We also have farmers, this person could be into gardening or farming or you may be or this person could like to smoke here is what I am picking up as well. There could be something sketchy going on in regards to insurances in, rela in relation to this person. They may be a sales agent when it comes to insurance companies and stuff like so. Uh, maybe this is somebody that's gotten into some sort of accident with you or aside from you or this person could be wishing this type of energy on you unfortunately. We also have DJ producers or audio engineers. This person could be like sending you how they feel telepathically through music or there's like weird songs that may come on when you guys hang out. This person may be into music here. They could produce music here um, or they could work with sound systems or this could be you. I am picking up here. This person could like to be all up in your ear. They could be very loud or they may make fun of you because you are somebody who's outspoken. You're very loud is what I'm picking up. It go either or way. We also have the Ace of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Knight of Swords as well. So this could be somebody that you've ran away from. They could feel like you've quickly ran away from them, or they may have quickly ran away from you. Whether this is somebody in the family, whether this is somebody in terms of love, more so it's somebody in love for a lot of you guys here, but this is somebody that made a quick decision to leave you with nothing here. They offered you something, they offered you this grand love or this illusion of a grand love, and then they got up and left. Or they could feel like you did this to them is what I am picking up here so it could go either or way water placements could be irrelevant air placements could be irrelevant somebody that could like to braid their hair or has curly hair may be irrelevant as well I'm getting black hair is coming out too I'm um, somebody who could be tan to dark in skin tone or complexion or very pale either or could be irrelevant somebody that could like to wear camo or army print or somebody that could have a military nature or tie to them may be of relevance here as well I am picking up here that there could be something going on in terms of legalities or finances when it comes to this person or you or this person could try to get you stuck in a contract or deal in terms of finances. So be careful of that. 
Let's see what else. This person's gonna try to offer you something or they did try to offer you something and there was something sketchy attached. So be careful. I would be careful of accepting gifts from this person. This person could be very gift giving, but it's like they give because they want something back or because they wanna hold it over you. It's like they could also dangle things in your face is what I am picking up here. Like, ooh, you want this type of vibes. I'm getting that kind of vibe from whomever this is. I am picking up here that this person could want to give you a precious gift or they already did in the past, but it was with conditions attached d names could be of relevance um somebody who could have just gotten married or engaged may be a relevance or this could be somebody that you were married or engaged to there could be something going on with eyesight when it comes to this person as well but yeah i think that is all i got i am picking up here that in this situation when it comes to whomever this is you are being advice to choose yourself some of you guys need to move away from this person or you have moved away from this person or they moved away from you and that was divinely guided is what i am picking up from spirit m names could be of relevance first middle or last initials as well somebody with blonde hair could be of relevance i am picking up here almond i don't know why almond is coming out maybe somebody likes the almonds or um somebody could be Somebody could also be, um, they could speak Spanish, they could be Mexican, Latino, Latina is what I'm picking up here. Diamante is coming out as well, I don't know why that's coming out. Monday, I don't know, maybe you used to see this person's, uh, this person's, maybe you used to see this person on Monday here, I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and get into your Archangel guidance for whoever this is to you or once you realize whoever this is to you. It's encouraging you, this Archangel Michael is encouraging you to stay strong, committed, intellectual, diligent. It says time to move quickly, choose logic over emotion, sudden changes. I feel like this person wanted to keep you up in their feels, up in your feels here, but you were always meant to choose you within whatever given situation this is. Number one, you guys could have used to be in the mortgage industry. Um, for some of you guys, pile number one, I am picking up here that this could be somebody that you used to live with or that kicked you out or you kicked them out is what I'm picking up here this could be somebody that used to be in real estate or something could have went down with this person in terms of the sell of a home or in terms of a home in general I am picking up here this could be a friend for some of you guys pile number one or one of your friends it says among your friends there is one that hurts you withdraw from them and I also have the build strength card coming out so I am picking up here that you've had to build up a lot of strength to stand up to this person or this person has taught you not to allow another to run you over with their words or with their physical actions or um, their demeanor or their intentions or their motives. They've taught you how to build strength when dealing with somebody who is sketchy or when dealing with somebody that purposely is trying to tear you down or bring you down. For some of you guys, this person could be very into fitness or you could be into fitness or this person could be could have been trying to sabotage your fitness journey. The month of June could be a relevance as well. Somebody who has an age ending in a six, somebody you may have a six year age difference with or that you've known for six years. So that is what I am seeing there, pawn number one. I'm officially done with your reading now. So yeah, that is all I got for you. I hope you guys like this reading. I hope it brought you some form of insight, clarity, or guidance. I would greatly appreciate it if you were to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already. Comment now or come back and comment down below on whether this right this writing, this is a reading read or rating. I don't know, maybe those names are significant, but yeah, as I was saying, comment now or come back and comment down below on whether this reading resonates with you or not. Click the bell notification to be notified as to when I upload videos like so. For those of you guys who are wanting to book a personal reading with me, all you have to do is send me an email and I will send you my services prices policies and disclaimers back for your review. Once you read that over, send me an email and I will get you scheduled in. That is all I got for you, pal number one who chose a pumpkin. I'm wishing you guys nothing but great love, great health, abundance, luck, success, prosperity, and blessings to come. So for those of you guys who have chosen pile number two with the ghost, let's see who is the mean girl, the mean boy within your life, the mean man, the mean woman. It doesn't have to be gender specific, you guys. Don't really worry about that. But let's get into who you can need to be aware of. Who is the mean person? within your life. I am picking up here for some of you guys this could be at least up to seven people which is also something that I have picked up for pile number one if you want to go and watch that pile if you felt drawn to it. If not I am picking up here for a lot of you guys this could be a friend. For some of you guys this could be a lover here and for others of you guys this could be a family member. I am picking up here this could be a 
a person here that is associated with your family and your friends. That is also something that I am picking up. For some of you guys, this could be somebody that has a child or children of their own, or I am picking up here that this person could come for your your children here. Like they could make remarks in regards to your children or in regards to your family in general. They could make remarks in regards to your friends. Like maybe this is a friend or this is a family member that doesn't like a particular friend in regards to you, um, where they don't like who you associate with. They try to bring you down when it comes to your acquaintances. I am picking up here for some of you guys. This is somebody that you always need to defend yourself against, whether it is a family member, a friend, or whether this is somebody that's attacking your family line or your friendships or your love life here, or even your children. I am picking up here for some of you guys. This could be somebody that you go out to eat with, drink with, smoke with, whatever the cup of tea may be. For some of you guys here, this could be somebody within a new atmosphere. This could be somebody that you've signed on to a contract agreement or deal with. Um, this could be somebody here with the Three of Cups coming out that you just got introduced to in terms of love that you can need to protect yourself against from. For some of you guys here, um, short hair could be irrelevant, like a bob cut. For some of you guys, bangs could be irrelevant here. March birthdays, October birthdays, or somebody that you were connecting to in those months may be of relevance. The date of the 30th or the 31st could be irrelevant to you or whomever this is. I am picking up here that also the age of 30 or 31 could be of relevance as well. 13, some of you guys, some of you guys may have a child or children that are around that age as well as what I'm picking up from spirit, excuse me, confirmed. I am picking up here for some of you guys, dates or birth dates ending in a seven may be of relevance as well. I'm getting huge maternal energy. For some of you guys, this person could be pregnant as of right now, or for some of you guys here, this person could joke about you getting pregnant um, is what I'm picking up here. And it's because they feel like if you were to get pregnant, your life would slow down or um, somebody would not want you as much anymore, as rude and evil as that sounds, I am picking that up. For some of you guys here, this person could be trying to talk down upon you when it comes to something in relation to fertility. Maybe these are fertility problems or maybe it's just in regards to you saying that you want to have a children, you want to have a family line here. For some of you guys here, this person like shows you love, but then all of a sudden they're giving you backhanded compliments in regards to your appearance. For some of you guys here, this is somebody that like is trying to congratulate you or celebrate you in regards to a new investment. This could be a house or rent a property, a space. This could be a vehicle, furniture, appliance items, whatever the case may be. But then the next minute they have to find something wrong about what it is that you just purchased or what it is that you just invested into. That's because this person is throwing low key shade back backhanded compliments so be wary of that is what I'm picking up for some of you guys here this person could like you but they may feel like you already have a family or a lover elsewhere and you're not paying attention to them I am picking up here that for some of you guys this person could have an age ending in a five you may have a five-year age difference with them you may have known them for those amount of years you could be in the beauty industry or cosmetic industry or this person could be in those lines of work or this person could be into beauty or getting things done cosmetically here for some of you guys this person could be trying to make jokes that you're pregnant or they could have at one point is what I'm picking up here which is really ugly um, I am picking up here if not about you they could have made a joke about a maternal figure within your life a sister Sisterly figure for some of you guys unfortunately this could be a sister figure within your life is what I'm picking up Sagittarius Capricorn and Scorpio placements may be of relevance we also have the drink tea card coming out. So for some of you guys here, this person could like to drink tea. They may be a tea drinker. For some of you guys, this could be somebody that you've been in an outing with, like a tea or setting or scene with coffee, setting or scene with. This could be somebody that you've been to a gathering or social event with as of recent is what I'm picking up from Spirit, no matter when you're watching this. I am picking up here that the age 21 could be of relevance, ages, birth dates, or birth years ending in a 2, 1, or 3 may be of relevance, as well as somebody of a 2, 1, or 3 year age difference with. Where some of you guys here, this person could be Asian, or you may be Asian here is what I am getting. We also have be aware of a fall. You are prone to accidents, clumsy, watch your step. This person may purposely want you to trip up or fall or something embarrassing happening to you or they could want to embarrass you in front of family members, friends, or your lover here. I am picking up here this person could be quite clumsy or they can make fun of you for being quite clumsy. For others of you guys, this person has fallen for you in love and they don't want to admit it um, because there's some sort of vendetta that they've had against you. 
Let's get into some characteristics and attributes cards. These characteristics or attributes could either be in regards to you or whomever this is here that is sending you. I've almost said the evil eye. For some of you guys, this person is sending you the evil eye, so you can need to cleanse. Um, I feel like you could also block this person's energy because... I am picking up here for some of you guys, this person has you online. Like this person watches you online. One of these individuals watches you online. So you could you could save your energy, preserve your energy from the evil eye by limiting or restricting access to the way in which this person can see you online. So I do have accountants coming out. For some of you guys, this person could be an accountant or they have you on one of their social media accounts. A names, B names could be irrelevant. Z names could be irrelevant. S names could be irrelevant. E names could be irrelevant. So we also have fit athletic built in the reverse. This person may have been into fitness, but they've fallen off track, or this could be you and you've fallen off track. Here is what I am picking up. Or maybe you're fit and this person is not, and they could hate on you because they're they are hating on within, they're hating their own self and they're projecting it into you because they're not taking care of their physical appearance. Or you may be curvy and this person may like your curves and they could be a fitness fanatic but they've been trying to achieve those curves through squats or through whatever the case may be but it's not helping is what I'm picking up. We also have business style coming out. So either you or this person could have a business style. B names could also be irrelevance, first or middle or last initials. We have black hair coming out. We also have a nail tech in the reverse. For some of you guys here, this person could make fun of the way in which you get your nails done. Or this person may not like to get their nails done. Or they don't usually have their nails done when you encounter them. Is what I'm picking up. For some of you guys, this person could have used to do your nails. We also have event planner in the reverse. This person may not be the best at... Um, like planning events or they may not even invite you on purpose to things I am picking up here maybe they feel like you don't invite them to things and they try to shade you because of so I am seeing here that with the event planner coming out in the reverse here this person could be purposely trying to plan something without you being there and we also have captain coming out. This person could also be not wanting you to plan certain things. They don't want you to plan certain events because they want to be in control of how things go and how things don't go. Or what you're going to do at that event, what you're not going to do at that event. What you're going to wear, what you're not going to wear. How you're going to do your nails, how you shouldn't do your nails. I'm getting like that type of vibe from whomever this is. For some of you guys, this person or you could be the captain of a dance team, the captain of a boat, the captain of an academic lead, the captain of a place of work, whatever the case may be. Water settings or scenes may also be irrelevant or a heavy water sign placement is coming out within this reading. We also have the mule card coming out. So it says someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. This person could be quite stubborn. I am picking up here with the ink pot card coming out. This person could overly smoke weed is what I'm picking up here. This person is like the type of person that drops something, spills something, and they're like, pick it up. Go pick it up when it, it's you didn't even do anything like they did it and and why are you in charge of shit that they knocked over that could even be metaphorically is what i'm picking up here for some of you guys here this person wants to write you text you and then they delete it because they're feeling remorse or feeling regret this is somebody that you've yet to resolve problems with is what i'm picking up here let's see what else this person could be very insincere, they're very flighty, they're very in and out. Spirit could have been showing you feathers in regards to this person. There could have been weird things going on with animals, like after interacting with or after hearing about or being in drama with whomever this is. You may have been seeing, I know that this is graphic, but for some of you guys, you may have seen dead animals around you. That's because this person was sending you bad vibes. This person could be a writer, you may be a writer, but this person doesn't want your work to be published. If that is you here, um, or maybe this person likes to write about you, talk about you. And your advice here, pile number two, is the Empress card. So you are being encouraged to keep on doing you. Do things that make you feel good. Invest into things that make you feel good because it's going to bring you more abundance, luck, prosperity. Taurus and Libra placements could be irrelevant. March birthdays could be irrelevant. The name Gabe, Gabriel, Gabriella could be irrelevant here. It says time to act upon your plans. Creativity is reward, rewarded. Luxurious or abundant resources. So this person could be hating on you because you live in luxury or even if you don't you romanticize your life even if you have the bottom of the barrel stuff within your life is what I'm picking up here you make it look classy you make it look beautiful because it's your essence because it's the way in which you carry you present yourself or you put things together this person doesn't have the Midas touch like you do so I am picking up here in all a lot of you guys are also being encouraged to incorporate protection within your makeup 
Um, let's say that you're wearing eyeliner. Black eyeliner could protect you from people sending you the evil eye. That's just an example. I just thought of that. But it's all about intention. So when you're creating things or putting things into your creativity, protect yourself. So that is all I got for you, pile number two. You may want to watch pile number three. But that is all I got for you. For those of you guys who have chosen the ghost, I hope you guys like this reading. I hope it brought you some form of insight, clarity, or guidance. For those of you guys that are wanting to book a personal reading with me, all you have to do is send me an email and I will send you my services, prices, policies, and disclaimers back for your review and we'll get you scheduled in. Click the bell notification to be notified as to when I upload videos like so. Hit the thumbs up. If you like this video, comment now or come back and comment down below on whether the reading resonates with you or not. Pile number two, I'm wishing you guys something but great love, great health, abundance, luck, success, prosperity, joy, and blessings to come. Bye guys. All right, last but not least, let's get into it. For those of you guys who have chosen pile number three with the witch's hat, let's see who is the mean person within your life, the mean woman, the mean man, the mean girl, the mean boy within your life. Let's see who this person is. Let's get some insight. Let's get into the cardamom C first. So I do have the eight of hearts, the eight of diamonds, and the joker in the reverse. So I am picking up here. This is somebody that doesn't take life too seriously, or they could be trying to make it seem as if you don't take life too seriously. I feel like this is somebody that you always just try to show love to, but instead of showing you love in return, they spite you, they watch you, um, they could watch certain things that you do, certain ways in which you're moving, certain things in which you wear. They could even send you weird or dirty looks, while all you do is show this person nothing but love and I am picking up here that you may feel like it's just, just this person messing around or just this person like in their own their own energy and, and you could feel like oh it's harmless oh it's nothing that this person has looked at me in this way um, or has said this certain thing to me that was they thought was funny but it wasn't so funny I'm picking up here that this person is purposely wanting to clown on you this per person is purposely wanting to get closer to you um so that they could be like a little spy and report back to others um or into in order to form opinions of you that aren't even true so this person could be very observant they're nitpicky they watch everything you do I am picking up here either you or this person could wear glasses contacts prescribed contacts I am picking up here that this person is is sweet but then they're sour I'm picking up here August could be a relevance ages ending in an eight may be a relevance as somebody that as well as somebody that you may have an eight-year age difference with or that you've known for eight years Sagittarius Capricorn as well as Scorpio placements may be a relevance to whomever this may be this could be somebody that likes to party a lot um this could be somebody that also watches you like this is somebody that feels like because whatever's going on financially with you that you shouldn't have fun is what I'm picking up here. Or maybe this person is going through something financially and they're mad that you're having fun. It goes so many different ways. The number 16 could be a relevance to this person or you. Let's get into some tarot here. We have the Knight of Swords coming out, the King of Cups in the reverse, and the Four of Wands in the reverse. For some of you guys, this could be somebody's daddy, someone's dad, or somebody that has a child or children could be mean to you or being purposely mean to you or they're, they're you know, not they're not the best is what I'm picking up here. They can send you the evil eye, especially with the eight of diamonds that came out. This could be somebody's dad that you used to date, um, or this could just be somebody in general that maybe you were supposed to have a home and a family life with or a child or children with. This is the person that could be the mean boy more so or the mean man within your life. They're more so giving me boyish tendencies like they haven't grown up. This person could be overindulgent. They're excessive. They overindulge in drinking. They overindulge in gambling. They overindulge in over spending they overindulge in drugs whatever the case may be i am picking up here that this person could have made you lose out on money or on a deal in terms of housing rented properties spaces a vehicle um this could be somebody that's trying to take something away from you is what i'm picking up as well i am picking up here this person could have you online or you could have them online i am seeing here that with the Knight of Swords coming out, this person could have some sort of authority or they're mad that you have authority over your own life. You make conscious decisions. You make decisions that are in benefit of yourself and that is not going to sabotage your own self here. I'm picking up here Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Gemini, Libra, Aquarius placements may be of relevance. This person may call you or they may call your house phone or they, if you don't have a house phone because this is 2023, my mom does. Um, but this person could call your family line a lot. Like they call somebody within your family dynamic, whoever this may be. I'm getting here that dates ending in a three, four, or five or birth dates ending in those numbers could be of relevance. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio placements may be of relevance as well as Gemini, Libra, Aquarius placements. 
We also have make a meal coming out. This person may never eat at home and they could see that you're always eating at home, cooking, making meals, or your family's always making a meal and they could be jealous of that is what I am picking up. I am seeing here that this could be somebody that's cooked for you once before um, or they could like to overeat here is what I'm picking up um, or they could be making assumptions that just because you are up in the kitchen whipping it up that you're always eating here which is ugly like this person could be trying to make fun of your appearance but they themselves have self-confidence or self-image issues here and they're projecting it onto you. This person could be violent or um, they could like to use devices or weapons that not a normal person usually has lying around. So be careful of this person. I would also be careful of what you eat or you consume from whomever this is as well. The age 32 could be of relevance here. Ages, birth dates, or birth years ending in a 3, 2, or 5 could be a relevance as well. Somebody may have a 3, 2, or 5 year age difference with. The month of March, February, or May could be a relevance to this person. This could be somebody that you've cooked for, they've cooked for you, or you've been in a setting in which there was like a chef um, or in which there was somebody else cooking for you guys. I'm also picking up here that this person could be trying to disrupt a project, a business pursuit, a work pursuit, just a personal pursuit here, or they could be trying to disrupt your love life, or they could be trying to be mean to you because they could feel like you're trying to intervene on their relationship, or they could feel like you're trying to intervene on their work life if this is not the other way around. We also have some characteristics and attributes cards. So these could either be characteristics or attributes that relate to you or whoever it is that's being mean to you or that you need to be aware of that's the mean person within your life. So we do have attorney card coming out. Maybe this is somebody that was dealing with something legal or financial or if you've had to deal with something legal or financial when dealing with whomever this is or this person was very debatable. Like they were always debating something, trying to like argue with you in regards to something. Libra, Virgo, and also Scorpio placements may be irrelevant or seasons. We also have traditional tattoos. Maybe this person doesn't like tattoos are very traditional or they have traditional tattoos and you've disconnected from them. This person could also be tall. T and A together within a name could be irrelevant or this person could have used to be a TA or you could have used to be a TA. This could even be a teacher for some of you guys or this person you went to school with that also came out for pile number one if you want to watch pile number one. T and A names and P names in general could be of relevance here. First, middle, or last initials. Somebody who could have a preppy style may be irrelevant. Somebody that could have unique ear piercings may be irrelevant. Somebody that could be in the process of moving could be irrelevant um, or that moves furniture, appliance items. Um, or I'm picking up here that this person could be moving on from you. You could be moving on from them. We also have gardener. For some of you guys, this could be people that garden for you, that do housework for you. Um, they may not like you or um, this could be something that you do for them is what I'm picking up here. For others of you guys here, this person could not want you to plant or do certain modifications in terms of your home. This person could be also into marketing, selling, or producing, or you may be into that. We also have the scissors in the, in, I think it was supposed to be in the upright. This person could be disappointed in some sort of like affair or scandal in regards to you, um, or this could be you towards them. This person could have gotten the boot, or the, you could have cut them out of your life, or they could have cut you out of their life here. S names could also be of uh, relevance. This person could be in the LGBTQIA community, or you may be, or um, this person could be associated with a friendship circle that is a part of that community, whatever the case may be. And lastly, your advice for pound number three is the 10 of Gabriel. So I am picking up here that whoever this is, you're being taught not to bend over backwards for whoever or people like so. I am picking up here that you could have always been the one to step up to the plate in regards to whomever's responsibilities these were, whether it's within a place of work, business, whether it's family, love friendship, whatever the case may be. Um, the number 10 or October could be a relevance to have whomever this may be. I am picking up your ages, birth dates, or birth years ending in a one or zero could be a relevance as well as somebody who have a one or 10 year age difference with. Blonde hair could be a relevance. The movie Cinderella could be a relevance some way, somehow. Somebody that could like to wear orange or um, like fall colors or that's into like fall fashion wear could be a relevance. It says, ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load, working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. So this could be even be somebody within a place of work. Make sure that you are taking care of yourself before trying to please other people around you at this time. It's going to protect you from that mean boy, mean girl energy or whoever this is or whomever these people are to you. So that is all I got for you, pile number three. I hope you guys like this reading. For some of you guys, this person could 
be into the occult. They could be into spirituality, psychic stuff, or you may be. Um, they could be into Halloween, stuff like so. But that is all I got for you, pile number three. I hope you guys like this reading. I hope it brought you some form of insight, clarity, or guidance. For those of you guys who like this reading, click the bell notification to let me know. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already. Comment now or come back and comment down below on whether this reading resonates with you or not. And for those of you guys who are wanting to book a personal reading with me, all you have to do is send me an email. Once you send me an email, I will send you my services, prices, policies, and disclaimers for your review. And that is all I got for you. I wish you nothing but great love, great health, abundance, luck, success, prosperity, and blessings to come. Bye, guys.